Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now. And in this session, I'm going to take you through JetBrains Gateway. So if you are not familiar about it, Gateway is a new kind of revolutionary IDE, which is going to be installed inside your virtual EC2 instances or any uh, cloud providers. And through that, you can add it code your code directly so nowadays there are lots of companies are moving forward for uh, like uh, github code spaces kind of things where you have a minimal code or inside your microservice or inside your uh, lambda function and you just want to edit that uh, without like wasting any time for rapid application development this kind of things are getting more and more popular so let me deep dive into it without wasting any time okay so for that you have to simply search for jbrains gateway hit enter and it will uh, get this very first link over here uh, let me grab this quickly and click here okay so uh, this is still in beta so don't worry about that after a few days you will get chance to uh, play around with it and lots of other things okay a uh, single entry point to all remote development environments okay no matter which technology you are working on the top of okay you can directly install uh, from here or if you have a client toolbox you can install from here okay so this one is uh, i was talking about this is in beta so let me grab this i already have it let me open this up quickly but for that i need a virtual machine so i'm gonna create ec2 instance quickly so for that i'm gonna log into my aws account quickly and from here we are gonna create ec2 instance but make sure to have a ec2 instance like of 4 gb of ram or 8 gb of ram at least so you can install something on the top of that otherwise it will become a slow and the benefit of this thing that if you are running an organization where you have a multiple developers you can distribute this virtual instances to that developers instead of uh, providing an entire machine this is a kind of cool thing okay so uh uh, it will run on the top of only Ubuntu or Linux machine. So make sure to create a Linux machine. So I'm going to launch new instance. I'm going to name it. Uh, wh what is the name um, I'm going to use is gateway. Okay. Okay. Then Ubuntu is my first choice. And here you can prefer to go with ARM based processor. It's all your choice. So this is uh, going to be gateway or you can prefer to generate new one this is my secret okay and this is going to be downloaded inside your download so make sure to have it properly inside your folder and after that you just need to click here okay i just need to add one more rule uh, for any another port and we'll see that later by the way and you can use this okay i just need to choose my instance type which is really very important okay so this is okay for me for now and but i need to choose can i can i use this thing okay a 4 gb of ram at least so i'm not sure that from where i'll get this 4 gb of ram instance type here yeah, from here so here i need let's go with the 8 gigs for now I'll, i'm gonna medium is fine but i'll go with the large this time just for to make sure everything will work properly select group uh, we can create a new group if you want but we'll add it later so this is it i guess for this uh just launch this thing it, it will take a while but nowadays aws uh, provided some kind of performance boost so you can connect within a second so till then you can see this is minimal uh, UI where you can directly click here and let me remove this thing let me create new connection here Ubuntu will be my default username 
and host name would be this one that I need to paste here and here I need to select specify private key that I have just downloaded inside my downloads folder that's what I'm going to select uh, which is my secret dot pain uh, check and continue it's gonna establish the connection between your server and between your IDE where you will have full permission to use any IDE okay so I'm gonna choose that ID but before that I need one project or uh, let's suppose if you are using using PyCharm so uh, I'll uh, choose fast API hello world on github okay I'm, uh, I'm uh, I'll simply search for that I don't know if I can grab this very first link over here so let me click this and let me go there and let me open my terminal you just need to click here in order to open the ssh terminal till then uh, it, it's retrieving the id versions okay that is supported to your ubuntu so if you go here you can directly choose any id i'll choose pycharm and i'll clone uh, that repo that i just got okay simply hit enter it is uh, faster because it's running on virtual machine uh, so let me click here and once you click here it will take a while to load all the things because it's still in beta so it will load the files and based on your net connection as well and this fast api project that i have just took a clone from internet and i'm gonna grab this um and it's gonna download ide on the top of your es2 so please uh, wait for that it will take a while to download uh, but it's fine we'll wait uh, for that and it is uploading a worker binary to your ec2 instance just like if you are creating any cicd pipeline it's going to install something over there in order to communicate so this is also really very important though so yeah this is done and this is uh, loading right now inside your system ui you can see here but everything is happening inside your of vps okay or your server so i'm gonna choose okay and if i click here on resources tab you can see now it is utilizing 100 percent of cpu that's why we need a strong machine for that in order to run this thing uh, so this is fine this is first time it will take a while to install the plugins and all but uh, and also it's in beta so don't worry about that uh, in future we can see some kind of performance improvements and lots of other cool stuff as well so it's it's a in indexing python sdk as usual as we do on our local thing that's what happening over there so don't worry about that and if i i can drag this here this is really very cool i i'm not feeling like i am not working on my local this is exactly what i wanted to and if i go here if i open the terminal from here i can directly write my uvcon script i guess let me use a uvcon uh what is app dot main which is file name colon app is my uh, f uh name of this variable and here i'm gonna use hyphen hyphen reload in order to reload if i change something in it and then i can use host which would be uh this ip address so i'm gonna paste that here and hopefully after that i can use port not sure though so let me see how i can run this uh uvcon fast api running on port 80 okay if you want to run this thing on port 80 you need to provide heaven heaven port as well so if you go here you can see have an have host and have an have port that you want to define so port 80 is not allowed so i'll prefer to go with 8000 and i'll hit enter so it should work but 
I need to will uh, watch the changes in this directories okay so uh, I hope I'm I'm in right Uicon main or colon app hyphen hyphen host and this is my host this is how I can reload and cannot assign request address I'm not sure why I cannot assign request address so let me grab as it is uh, let me see if I can I can use that same port again instead of this 0 for localhost because we are running uh, and we cannot test inside that virtual machine that's why I want to provide the IP address and let me go back again inside instances and let me see if I can use localhost by the way uh, yeah this one okay let me click here again and let me try to connect 54 it is starting with 54 cannot find model main not sure why okay app dot app dot I need to provide the name of folder and hopefully it should work cannot assign this address okay can I use 00, zero instead Zero point zero point zero point zero. Oh, it will it will be the same. No worries. Okay, uh, and port eighty. Of course, I can't use so eight thousand. I'll choose to prefer, and this is running on eight thousand. And now, if I need to do one more thing, I need to add that uh, into security groups into inbound rule. So it will open the port. Make sure you have inbound rule if you are using this or anything on GCP anywhere you need to open this port otherwise it won't work and zero zero it means any from anywhere it will accept the request okay so like the way now if i go here on official tns where is my ec2 this one let me go here let me open this in new tab and instead of HTTP, I just need to go to HTTP one colon eight one two three slash docs. So it should work. Okay, this is not working though. Let me go back again. Let me click here on copy. Control V colon eight thousand slash Docs hit enter yeah great so this is done so now you can see if I make any changes over there and if I choose to remove something from here okay save this let me refresh this thing and if I refresh this URL this is this is how uh, it works so this is what i was talking about and this is the very first look at uh, a gateway by the way i can directly disconnect it from here if i choose to disconnect because there are lots of bunch of new features like uh, you can deep dive into it later onwards because uh, if you can see we have aws uh, connect with link and cheat brains on space like uh, github spaces so i will prefer to go with github spaces sometimes if i because this is really very really faster more efficient than this thing uh, but this is still in uh, kind of beta i'm not sure because in 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 this system as well this is taking bunch of cpu load which is kind of we need to minimize and because uh, there are lots of CPU intensive performance we can see and 100% of CPU load even though I was using 8 gigs of RAM and it is quite quite uh, expensive but it's fine 
as a beta it's fine so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed and don't do not forget to use this thanks button in order to contribute even one dollar is enough to grow our channel thank you so much see you soon next video Ta -ta, bye bye